My name is Lola Laracy. I am one of the hosts of ScannerDrum.com. We do videos. And once in a while I get off my butt or on my butt and write an article. But that doesn't happen much. Mainly we just do videos and goof off. And I live tweet. Um, and that's pretty much it. And I am here with my friend, Catherine. Catherine, tell us a little bit about yourself. Great. Well, I'm Catherine. Uh, on Twitter, I'm at Clefnotes. And then I make videos on my Clef Notes YouTube channel. And I write for the Nerdy Girl Express. And sometimes use their Snapchat. I'm supposed to, like, actively use it, and I frequently forget that I have it. So I'm just like, oh, yeah, that one thing. So I talk about it all the time, but there's, like, never any snaps for me unless I'm, like randomly remembering to do it and then i post recipes over on the iZombie support group site and there's like a huge hunk of just like this is how you make a really fancy brain that we did for the season two finale for iZombie so that's still another one yeah, oh that's, I, that's it. we're gonna have to have you on the show none of my friends watch iZombie i'm crazy. like i know i love that show it's perfect and so I don't have any iZombie friends that I talk to like face to face. So I'm okay. I might we we might have to do some iZombie shows together. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I know a ton of iZombie people. Like a lot a lot of my Twitter is iZombie. So I know a ton of people. The other Nerdy Girl Express people totally watch iZombie. So I could maybe convince some of them to show up for one. Maybe. That I don't would know. be cool. I would love that. We could do some cross promotion too. I mean, I could be on y'all shows if you wanted, um, vice oh. versa. So I was neat. on. Cool. I've done that with a few other podcasts. Been on their podcast, and okay. they come on mine. A little cross okay. promotion or whatever. We don't really podcast. Someone we know used for Periscope. He doesn't write for us. He just did Periscopes. And then I YouTube. So I'm like our videographer. I think that's what we made my official title, but I'm, like, I'm really just the YouTuber who puts videos oh. up. But, um, I YouTube, I haven't done, like, after shows or anything for iZombie. I might this season, maybe. I do a recipe a week, so I'm normally pretty focused on, like, getting the brain recipe up that day. So I'm like, I got the brain recipe done, and then I don't get the CW, so I have to wait until it goes up online at 2 a.m., and then I, like, live tweet my 2 a.m. solo live. Sometime, like if I'm having trouble sleeping and I wake up at 2 a.m., I'll go to Twitter and I'll find your mm. tweets and I'll tweet back at you. Yeah, I've seen that. No, I don't talk to you. A handful. There's always like a handful of people that like pop up during them, and I'm like, why is everyone awake? Because <laughs> I never expect anyone else to be up when I'm like casually like, I haven't seen the episode yet, so that's gonna happen now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The only mm. shows I stay up to live tweet are Mr. Robot and Dark Matter. And don't tell anyone, but I fell asleep at 10.30 uh, last night, halfway through oh. Dark Matter. So mm. my tweets stopped at 10.30. Mm. I just, I couldn't do it. I fell asleep. So I just have a hard time staying up that late. I mm. want to be able to live tweet it. I just, I am not a youngin' like the children's who watch MTV mostly. Mm. And I can't do it. I want to. Maybe next year I'll try to make a push. It's just so hard for me. Yeah, see, I'm a night owl. Like, I've always uh -huh. been up super late. And, like, okay. I have to get up. I, uh, for my new job, I have to be up at 7.30. Jeez. No. I'm normally like, it's okay. I'll just watch this and go to bed. And then I'm normally not in bed until, like, 2. And oh, my like, God. That's hard. Yeah. So, I'm, like, up super late during the week and go to work. And then... On the weekends, I just sleep all day. Like today, because I knew we weren't doing anything until late, I literally didn't set an alarm and woke up at like three. And was like, That's okay. okay. That happened. So that was my day. We're just like sleeping to catch up on all the sleep I didn't get. Because I was, I didn't really live tweet that much this week. I watched <laughs> the screen finale was this week, so I live tweeted that. <laughs> no, I didn't live tweet anything else. Because I've been watching Killjoys and Dark Matter either really late the night that they're actually on, or I don't watch them until Saturdays because okay. I just don't have time. I'm normally too tired on Friday night to like watch them. I have to avoid Twitter like the plague. Like I get on and I like scroll really fast so I don't see anything. But like no, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. 
I know, because I was spoiling the heck out of it. Mm. It happens. I get stuff all the time. Even the next day, if I haven't watched it yet, there'll be, like, uh, I do recaps, but I don't have, like, tons of sites to do recaps, so I'll see, like, the thing that happened in the episode that'll be in my recap, and I'm like, shoot, nope, nope, nope. So, I hate when they... Sp- and sometimes people spoil things in the title. That yeah, makes me mad. No. I'm like... But what was? Oh, I don't know. Do you watch Orange Is the New Black? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I was behind on it because everyone else watched it in one weekend, but I don't have that kind mm-hmm. of stamina. But I knew mm-hmm. something was gonna happen. I didn't know what. So I was looking through, like I think I was on Entertainment Weekly's website. I'm pretty sure mm-hmm. it was them, and they had this big picture of the actress who plays Poussey, and they're like, "So what's next for her?" Oh, yeah, I was no. like, yeah. no, Energy Weekly is awful. I know. Show. Wait until, like, for Orange is New Black, they waited until the weekend. And then for, like, movies and stuff, they do this two things. So, like, when a movie debuts, by that weekend, if you haven't seen a movie, you can't read anything they put up because it's always, like, this thing that happened. Blah, 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 blah. It's the title. And I'm like, why? Why? Tell me this. Why are you uh, doing this to me? Do you want me not to read you? Right. No, I like can't look at any of their stuff until like over a week out. Like I'm normally like no. Like if I see a link for it anywhere, I'm like no, just no, 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 no. I'm like not unless I've watched it. Mhm. At least Buzzfeed for their entertainment stuff makes their titles either really vague or like just put like the title of the show or like mm-hmm. something related you can't really tell what's gonna happen but at least that doesn't spoil me too much but yeah i watched orange is black in a weekend but only because i had work so i like i only had a couple days free so my sister and i just watched the whole thing because we were like if, we're, if we don't watch it now we're never going to get to watch you're it. never gonna watch it because you're gonna be yeah. at work Yep. Yeah, that's what happened. Well, and my boyfriend and I, we generally don't watch TV together because he like he watches TV on his computer and mm-hmm. plays video games at the same time. And okay. I watch it on a natural, you know, flat screen TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so we don't generally don't watch TV shows together, but Orange is the New Black, for whatever reason, it's our tradition that we actually sit in front of the TV and watch it together. Mm-hmm. And that means we each have to have time free. Yeah. And so, you know, that maybe, like, say on a Tuesday, we might, like, be like, do you want to watch an episode of Orange is the New Black? And I'd say, okay. And so we watch an hour of it, and then I'd be like, oh, I have to prepare to live tweet, whatever. So we can only watch one at a time. So it took us a good, like, two weeks to watch Orange is the New Black. Oh, yeah. And I was so mad no, well, about that. <laughs> well, I'm super behind on Gotham Season 2. Like, I'm so I'm not done with that show mm-hmm. it's because my dad and my brother want to watch it together because we all like yeah. Batman so they were like mm-hmm. oh we'll just make time to watch the thing but we never have time free at the same time and so we've gotten like we made it to the point in season 2 where they were on hiatus so like mm-hmm. we made it to the break but we still have like 14 episodes left and I was oh. like I'm never going to catch up on this show because like all is coming which means all the shows are coming back and i was like i'm so behind i'm so it's, you know, uh crap so i don't know i was talking about it because i was saying like i'm never getting caught up and my mom was like you can just watch it without them and just me <laughs> i was like i don't want to just tell them like no we're not watching it together anymore i'm gonna watch it alone you, it's fine. you may have to you may have to be like look i love you and this isn't, I'm not saying I don't respect you, but I have to make a decision for myself. Yeah, but yeah. I'm already, I already got spoiled hardcore for that one. Cause we have, okay. Well, we have someone who writes recaps for our site for it. Mm-hmm. And the time she like started writing them, she didn't have her own account on uh, WordPress where we run our site. So she needed uh-huh. people to like put it up for her. And so I had offered uh-huh. to put her thing up. And they were like, oh, hey, can you proofread it? And I was like, yeah, Aww. I'll do that. Well, I found out about Mr. Freeze, like, before I even saw him. But I was like, it's all right. It's fine. It's cool. I also watched Lucifer. And so, like, it came on right Lucifer. after. So mm-hmm. I would see the end of every single episode of Gotham that was oh. in front of Lucifer. So I would see the 
ends of every episode because I would turn my TV on and Gotham always runs like two minutes long. So I'd be like, uh -huh. yep. Okay, now I know. <laughs> oh, look, Fish Mooney's back. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I saw her and then I was like, okay. And then I saw the, the end of the finale and I was like, there's a bus full of people? Okay. Cool. So I know like weird stuff that just like happened right at the end of every episode. So I've just been like, it's fine. I'll figure it out. If need be, I'll take a week and just play all the episodes I haven't seen and be like, I'm caught up. It's fine. You guys can watch it whenever. They get busier than me anyway, so I'm like, I at least have like five minutes. Well, not five minutes, but I have an evening where no one needs me to do anything. Yeah, you can run at least three or four episodes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they run and really well together. Yeah, no, we used to watch, like, when we would sit down and watch them, we'd watch, like, two or three before we stopped. But, like, that was the only way we got even as far as we got. It was only, like, four days or something where we, like, just really watched random assortments of episodes. Yeah, I love Gotham. Um, I started live tweeting it probably last year. Mm -hmm. One of the things, though, shows that start at 8, it's it's so early that it always catches me off guard because I've only been home from work a few hours and I still think I have time and I'm like, oh, I haven't taken a bath yet. I haven't had dinner yet. And then I'm like, oh, crap, it's 8 o'clock. It's time to yeah. start live tweeting shit. No, My golden that. spot is like 9. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 9 o'clock ones are good. The ones that throw me off are the ones that are like 11, which was on at 11. I was like, wait, it's on at what time? God, yeah. For television? I, was that, so I think, you know what, I probably would have live tweeted it this past year. I didn't realize it had moved from 11. Because honestly, when it was on mm. last year at 11, there was no way I could stay up for that. And so I just didn't even think about live tweeting it. But since it moved to 10 this year, I probably could have. I just didn't realize it moved until 10 to 10 until recently. So Yeah, no, it like jumped. Because it was at 11, and they bumped mm -hmm. it to 10. But... Okay, my new job is not at the video store, but I used to work at a video store, and I kept having to close on Tuesday nights, and so we didn't close uh, until 10.15, so when it was at 11, I would just come home and watch it while I ate dinner, and okay. then when it bumped back to 10, I was mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm at work, never mind. So, like, there were a couple episodes I live tweeted at the beginning, then there was a huge app where I didn't live tweet it, and then I got my new job, and I was like, oh, well, now I'm free at night. I would like randomly live tweet if I was at home. So I know I live tweeted the finale an episode before that, but I might not have live tweeted any for like a big block in the middle. I forget which episode. I know there was a hump that I didn't. Okay. Yeah, I wish I could have live tweeted it because I bet people's reactions were really cool. Oh, some of them were crazy. There were a lot of gifts. There were a lot of gifts. Oh, I want to see some of those gifts. Yeah, especially when people died, you would get some pretty crazy response. Either photos or gifts, one or the other, but it got crazy. Yeah. Sorry, I was like super pixelated for a while, and I was like, it's never going to go away. I just didn't say anymore. That's okay. It was happening to me earlier. I just looked like, at one point, I said I looked like um, that Italian painting that this lady tried to restore, and she ended up making it look like a Muppet character. Um, oh. Did you ever see that? No. Gosh, or if I have, I don't remember it anymore. Well, now I'm going to have to screen share it. This, <laughs> I'm going to chop this up later, so um, I'll, I'll, it, I don't know if you mind, but we might end up with two shows. One just general chatter and one that actually has to do with screen. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's okay? I'm cool with that. All right. All right, because cause I have to show you this. I showed the folks earlier because when I mentioned that I look like her, they're like, what are you talking about? I'm like, oh, I'll show you. Ugh. I'm surprised I haven't. I took, like, I had random people who work in museums that I, like, know. And so they tell me, like, random museum things all the time. I'm like, oh, okay. You'll, <laughs> you'll probably, you'll, you'll probably um, recognize it. Let me find a good picture. Here we go. All right, let me try to screen share this. S -s share my screen. Share. Can you see it? 
Oh, there, there it go. is. Oh, I have <laughs> heard of that. I remember that because he looks like he doesn't look like Jesus at all. He looks like a Muppet. Yeah. No, and I was like, where did you find this woman? Who, like, why did you think she should restore your painting? Some old lady in Italy trying to do a good thing. But the funny thing is, I read an article about it again recently, and apparently this town has become a tourist attraction now because of it. And she's actually a tour guide. Oh my goodness. Well, so it had a happy her. It worked yeah. out. It's, it has a happy ending. And I mean, when you think about it, I mean, Jesus was all about, like, let's be good and be kind and, you know, forgive, so kind of makes sense, you know, that something good came out of it. There but look go. at his mouth! He oh, looks like he's going... Yeah. He, lo he looks like he got stung by a bee, and his mm -hmm. mouth is, is, like, protruding. Maybe that's what happened. He got stung by a bee. There you go. Bee sting, Jesus. Bee sting Jesus. That's what happened. I mean, he has allergies, just like everyone yeah. else. And, you know, maybe he ate some peanut butter. Mm. 